Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for stopping by today and joining me on my first ever, this is a historic event, my first ever Get Ready With Me. You're in for a funny ride because you, if you're going to watch the video, you can see me make a fool out of myself. This is my first attempt at it. So please, please be gentle. If you're curious to watch me, kind of try to create this everyday look that I've got going on. This is the way I would normally go to work. Um, stay tuned. And if you're curious about my hair, do definitely stay tuned. So thanks so much for stopping by and be gentle on me, please. Oh my gosh, I, I simply cannot believe I'm actually going to be doing this. I just can't believe it. So this is my very, very first Get Ready With Me and I am so super nervous. I'm not good with makeup, you know, I really am not. And I'm not any kind of a expert on eyeshadow application. There's many other beautiful YouTubers that do a fabulous job that I just feel like really can't contribute to anything. But so many of you have requested that I do this. So here I am. I'm going to give it a whirl. So what I normally do every single morning after I, I wash my face and, and do whatever serums I'm going to be doing. And I will tell you for the last, I think it's been like three weeks, I've been doing something completely different on my skin. I know you've seen some of the videos with the CBD oil and how I'm doing my skincare. So um, it's been a lot more simpler for me. So this morning I got up, I did a light wash. I put my CBD oil on. I massage that in. I sometimes I use Jen Amber's Dolphin to kind of massage it in a little. Sometimes I just use my fingers. I just kind of massage it in into circular motions into my face. And then after, you know, maybe I don't know, 60 seconds or so. I've never really timed it. I go into the kitchen, I take out my timeless vitamin C, put a couple of drops in, pat it, and just put it all over. Everything I put on my face, I put on my hands, you should go down my neck and into my decolletage area. And then after I do the vitamin C, I do the matrixyl. And that's pretty well all I've done to my face. So, so after my matrixyl, I have my coffee, I go in the living room, I take my, my Mara and I usually prime my eyelashes. And then after my eyelash primer is dried, I put on my mascara. This is my normal, normal routine. I'll go in the bathroom, I'll very carefully take away any of the mascara um, smudgies. And then I put on the 100% pure coffee bean cream. I usually just tap it into the bag areas under my eyes to kind of hopefully depuff. So then I, now it's just how I do it. I put my mascara on first. Some people do it complete opposite. That's how I do it. After I've done my mascara, I'll normally go into the bathroom and the first thing I do is I, I don't use any kind of an eyelid primer or anything of that nature. I normally take a my cream brulee. This is the Wet n Wild cream brulee that I have. This is the really nice cream brulee, not the regular brulee. And I usually just tap that in. Now, I know everyone says you shouldn't tug on your eyes. I try not to tug on my eyes when you're applying anything. I usually put this on my movable lid and all the way up. So maybe this is sort of like a base um, or whatever. But I usually do. I usually put it on my movable lid and all the way up. And I try, I do try not to pull on my, my eyes, but I have to pull on them a little bit because, you know, I've had horribly, and I still have hooded eyes. I have horribly hooded eyes all my life. And I think that when my hood started to recede a little bit and, you know, whether it's the Retin-A, whether it's the Nivea that I'm using, whether it's a combination of everything that I'm doing, I just have to brush off just a little bit on the bottom. Um, wh whatever it is, I do know that my eyes, unlike some of the beautiful YouTubers that do this on a regular basis, my eyes are very creepy, 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 whatever you call them. I have a lot of loose skin. So when you've got a lot of loose skin like I do, you're just not going to be able to put it on without some sort of a tug action. So the palette I'm going to do today for my everyday look, and I'd use this an awful lot. This is actually gifted to me for my birthday from uh -huh. Sheila. 
Life with Lily. I absolutely adore that woman. If you are not connected to Sheila Life with Lily, you've got to go check out her channel. Anyway, she sent me this for my birthday. This is the Huda. This is the Mauve Obsessions. So ever since my birthday, I've been using this along with some other palettes that I really like that I also got for my birthday. But this is sort of like more of an everyday kind of a look. It does have a lighter brow color that you could use, but I tend to really prefer the cream brulee, so I use that. But normally what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to probably tap off right here the brown. I'm going to use my favorite, favorite brush, which happens to be my Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. It is E45. This was sent to me from Sigma quite a while ago in a PR package and I really absolutely love a lot of the Signa brushes. So I'm going to tap it into the brown, tap it off a little bit and hopefully you guys can see me and I'm not out of frame again. Every time I've tried this I have been out of my frame and it's like very frustrating when you, you think you're in frame and you're not. So it's just I'll probably fast forward through some of this because I really think that it's going to be difficult for you guys to watch me do this the whole time. I'm using my favorite mirror. This is actually my camping mirror. I love this camping mirror. I call it a camping mirror. Um, what is it called? Beauty Works. I don't know. I've had this for quite a while. It does have a magnifying section. It also has other panels you know where you can look at it and it's like three times two times and then regular and then regular on the side so you can fold it up so I use this when I'm in the motorhome this gets put in the camper because I have really lousy lousy lights in the motorhome and I can't see what I'm doing in the bathroom so speaking of the motorhome as of this filming it's still being repaired and I am still trying hard to stay optimistic for Bar Harbor, but as the time approaches and we, we don't have any good news in the motorhome, the more I feel like it isn't going to be a reality to go to Bar Harbor this year. So I'm trying to think of some alternate thoughts and plans. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to kind of darken up a little bit of the outer edge and a little bit of the crease with this blending brush. I really do like it. Now it may look like a mess right now and it, I will try to clean it up a little bit but you know basically that's how I would do it and then I do it in steps so I'm going to now take this and go right to the other side and do the same thing. I usually drop it right in the corner bring it down like a 7 or a V and you know drop it in the corner and I like I like a I like a shadow that isn't going to dump a whole lot of pigment on me at once because I'd rather build up than remove. I'm just not that I'm just not that much of an expert by any stretch. So removing always is a total mess on me. I also, when I'm doing this, like to look up. I, I like to look up and look down so I can kind of see just a little bit to see how I'm how I'm getting. I will tell you too, sort of like, I guess, is this what you call it? A chitty chatty? A, a chit chatty? Get ready with me. A chit chatty. I will tell you, since I have been using the CBD, and I've had a lot of questions since I had that video out about the C CBD, um, there is, you know, I mean, I think in beauty products, the word hemp is used interchangeable interchangeably but there is a difference between you know your CBDs your hemp's your full spectrum hemp oil that's good you know you just need to really I think if you're going to be going on the CBD thing I think you need to really do some research there's a number of great articles that talks about the differences between it and and I've said before try to get the highest concentrate you can afford of the actual CBD the full spectrum hemp or whatever um, in your product so that that's going to give you the best the best results if you just are looking for a moisturizer of some sorts then hemp you know is a, a perfect thing so the, I'm going to take the little corner here which is my favorite color and I'm just going to kind of darken up here a little bit I don't think I'm doing a great job with this today but and darken here. 
it's hard to actually do this and talk. <laughs> Who knew? It's actually hard to do this and talk. Yet, if you don't talk, you feel kind of like, you know, kind of like boring. So normally, then I take a blending brush. I think this is just a Real Techniques blending brush. I, I've had forever. I don't really know where I got it, when I got it. I've had forever. I do like to blend out. Now, you know, I like a more natural look. As you can see, I, I'm achieving a more natural look here with the shadows. Just a... I don't want it to be like pop in your face and holy mackerel. So I can always take my brush. I can always pick up more product. I can always darken, which I like to do as I go through. And then I normally will take a smaller, oh, I just dropped this, a smaller brush. And I will go into, so like if I want a little bit of a pop in the color, in the in my movable lid I take this and I've had this forever I think this is ice latte ice latte L'Oreal and I really like this a lot for right here I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing I'm just kind of brightening up right here and I go up a little bit more and I kind of like just kind of go up and I'm gonna just continue to play with this a lot because I can see I've got some follow which I clean off see I don't have any foundation on all I have is my skincare and I have no foundation so I can clean the mess up that I make before I apply anything else I can I can do that easy enough I'm going to try to just darken a little bit if you can see me a little bit more on my outer my outer V here I'll probably end up fast forwarding this like crazy just to uh, to get through it say so, hey did you guys all watch the the christening of little baby Archie I thought he was adorable I did I thought he was adorable I loved seeing those christening shots I, I just really I thought he was absolutely adorable adorable now I'm going to take my Urban Decay liner and I am really a mess. I can see how much of a mess I am by looking in my magnifying mirror here. I'm a real mess. But I'm going to take my Urban Decay liner. And it's one of the browns. You can see how small this is. I mean, this is like, eek. Now I'm going to bend forward here. So you're probably going to be out of frame. But it's the only way I can really apply this. And then I normally will go up. Just to kind of create a little bit of a tail. Something of that nature. And I'm going to try to do the same thing here. I do have to pull my my lids gently when I'm applying eyeliner. I just do. It's just not anything that I can do easy enough. It just isn't. I just can't. I can't get the hang of it, you know, with, without doing some pull straightening of my skin, I suppose I should say. So then, I sometimes, I know this is going to sound wacky, I sometimes take a little purple and I add the purple. And I usually do it on my waterline. So then I kind of look at myself and I go, okay, a royal mess here, which it is. So I literally will then just continue to blend a little bit more if I want a little bit more of this L'Oreal Infallible in the middle. Again, this is my day look, so I'm not going to make too much of a pop. And of course, I have no brows on. I think since I've been using the CBD cream, my face, my skin has been, I mean, what a difference. I mean, really, what a difference on my skin. It's been unbelievable. I still have a little bit of, depending on how bad with the Retin-A it is, just a, a tiny bit at times of a little bit of a flake here. But it's like my flaking and peeling and all of that with Retin-A is like, I, it, it's like improved like 98%. It has improved like 98%. The redness on my skin. I don't even want to tell you about the redness on my skin, but holy cow, has it improved. I mean, you're looking at my naked skin. I have veins all over the place. And, um, you know, my veins have been really bad for a long, long time. Many of you know that. They've been really bad. And they, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but they, I, I mean, I look stupid right now for sure because I have no makeup on other than the eyes. But... Holy cow, what a difference, I think. What a difference. It's like night and day. So a lot of people say, do you think the CBD is 
blocking the retin-A from doing its job and is that why you're having um, much better skin you know because the retin-A isn't irritating your skin so all I can say about that is um, Florian Bass which is the one I've been using on my face although I, I did receive the Mocha M-A-K-U 5,000 milligrams and I'm, not, I'm going to talk about that in another video we did receive that and I've been using that at night on a drop a tiny drop under my tongue I let it sit under my tongue for like about a minute or so and then I swallow and and do all of that and that has been that's been like such it just puts me to sleep it's really nice but anyways the flora embossed on my face I I checked into how to use it and they recommend that if you use they recommend that you use the CBD oil on clean skin without anything else wash your face clean skin put the CBD oil on prior to any other applications including vitamin C and retin-a then you can do your normal routine so they recommend that you use the CBD oil first as it will help those other products work better it's amazing uh, you know when you start to look at the research for the CBD oil the benefits of skin rosacea if you have redness if you have even though not too many people are touting it for veins but I, I'll you know so whatever your skin issues especially acne I I mean every time I've had a pimple pop up I still get pimples every time I've had a pimple pop up and I the CBD uh, that pimple goes away really quick it's like unbelievable so anyways I can't tell 100% if I am like happy with my eyes right now but you know and it probably looks very kind of like low-key to you guys but I think for me the dark in my outer my outer with this bottom corner a little bit more and even though I have on my eyeliner I don't care I play with it I do I play with it even though I have on my eyeliner I, f I will still do this so I've been using the blink for my eyebrows and I love that stuff. I use that on my, my eyeshadow, my eyebrows in the morning. And I don't have any, I mean, I come home, even, even if I've been outside, even if it's been like super, super hot, super, super sweaty, I don't have any kind of an issue with it at all. So I love that eyeshadow, uh, that eyebrow stuff. I am still using the Blink Lash Serum, and I think my lashes have been doing fantastic. I've, they're, they're growing, they're getting nice and thick. You know, you lose your lashes, they go in cycles, you know, they fall out, new lashes, new growth and all that stuff. I think the Blink has been absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I think I'm almost there. And so what I'm going to do is because, I mean, who's going to care about eyebrow application? I think I will, I'll put the rest of my makeup on in the bathroom, which for me will just be my face my foundation, my lipstick, my eyebrows, and then I'll come back in and visit you with you guys. I'm back. So, what I ended up putting on my, my face today was my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I bought this quite a while ago. Um, this is in the shade, I think it's Pebble. And I bought this at the at the um, cosmetic company outlet store after being after a recommendation from both Marlene Fab and Glam and Sheila Life with Lily they were both talking about this so I ended up getting this and I really I got shade matched when I was down in our store in Massachusetts they matched me and this was the match so I went and I bought it at the cosmetic company store this is a lot cheaper so this is the foundation that I have on under my eyes I have the, the essence liquid concealer this is actually a brightener for me this is the one in pink so this is like really dark cheap essence liquid concealer I have that under my eyes and went all the way around my eyes on my eyebrows I have the blink magic wand this was sent to me quite a while ago from blink I've talked about it I really like this it sort of like comes in a like a little thing looks like a little fountain pen you unscrew the bottom here all the product is in here you dip your brush in and you go ahead and you put it on your brows now 
I've been told by some well-meaning folks in my life, mostly people on YouTube, um, that have left me comments that tell me that I should go and have my brows professionally done, that my brows are sort of like, eh, you know, kind of like Menza Menza. And I've looked at some of the ladies that have beautiful, amazing brows, and I've looked at some that I felt at a first glance, I looked at them, and it reminded me of this movie star. I don't know if any of you are young enough to remember. <laughs> Joan Crawford. She had these eyebrows. And Joan Crawford at the time, I also had a teacher later in life that had the same eyebrows. So I associate those heavy, dark, big, big, in-your-face Joan Crawford eyebrows with the teacher that was always mad at me as well. So my fear, if I go to have my brows professionally done by anyone, my fear is they're going to try to make my eyebrows look like Joan Crawford's, and I think I would cry if that were to happen. So I have not done that yet. Um, also, underneath my brows, I just have this, this is sort of a brow highlighter, a matte brow highlighter. This is an Ulta stick. I... I think I got one of these free originally in one of those little packages when you buy X amount for the altar, they give you one of these, and then I went and I bought one. And that's what I just kind of like have under my brows for a highlighter, if you want to call it that. My blush is my old Avon, tried and true. This is my standby. This is the one I always go to. I love this blush. On my lips today, I am wearing 682 Blushing Pout. It's a matte lipstick. This is a Maybelline matte lipstick. Blushing pout. It's a really, I don't think you can see that guys. It's a really, uh, it's a pink. It is a vivid pink. I've just been into the pinks lately. I've been into the pinks. And then I have, on top of it is my Buxom. This is the White Russian. I've got a, I've got a couple of different Buxoms, but this is White Russian. And I, I think White Russian is my best, you know, topper. It really is. So I really, really like this a lot. And what else did I, oh, you know what I wanted to tell you? I think I covered it all because you saw me apply everything on my face, on my makeup. But I'm so bummed because uh, Marge and somebody else that was mentioning to me that they had, I think it was Susan Little Poet that might have first mentioned it to me, that, um, the CYO was going to be discontinued, that Walgreens was no longer going to have it, and that maybe even, you know, Boots was not going to carry it. And I just didn't want to buy it, believe it, because I love the CYO foundation, even though I'm not wearing it today. I do wear it a lot every day. And so I tweeted Boots Official on Twitter, and I'm going to show you the screenshot of the response. So I'm like super bummed, super bummed they are discontinuing this foundation and I, I'm going to try to stock up on their primer because so far their primer has been the best primer for my skin ever. So I really, really like it a lot. Anyways, I have no idea how long this is. I have no idea if I'm actually going to show this video or am I going to chicken out. I might just chicken out. Oh, on my head, this is John Renee's Kristen wig. I'll turn around really quick so you can see the back if you're at all interested in wigs. <laughs> now, I need to get a steamer still and steam this up off my face a little bit because I do, I do think I would like it a little bit more contoured around my face. This is in the shade Shaded Praline. I know this is not going to pick it up, but this is, is 12 FS8 Shaded Praline. It's Smart Lace. It is the synthetic fibers, and I really like this wig. Now, out of the box, this is pretty shiny. So, out of the box, you know, I would definitely spray this. It is a lace front. The cap, for me, is it seems like a smaller cap than my Raquel Welch wigs. But um, I, I have been really, really curious about how a straight sort of bob style would look on me. So what do you guys think? Um, I think I covered it all. This is kind of a disjointed get ready with me, but it's my first time. So please be gentle. Tell me below what you think. <laughs> Did I do passably okay? 
Oh my gosh. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Every single one of you. Bye, guys.